I have my tea and I am ready for action because it's time for Lalan's annual spring cleaning. Last year, we did lots of the attic, the attic corridor, the corridor outside my bedroom really transformed those areas. But now it is time to make a lot of space for the new heating system. So let's go and get started. Good morning, gentlemen. Hello. Oh, the dream team. We're going to do it again. We're yes. going to clear. We keep, well, because we keep clearing areas and then we have to keep clearing them again. <laughs> It's the difference is we're clearing and they're moving. Well, you're clearing and moving them into other rooms. This time we're not. This time you're going to get rid of stuff. Yeah, then. rubbish dump and charity. Yeah, good. Even I can admit that the broken chairs can go. These I like, these yeah, two. They're going to go to the attic. Okay, those I like. This one, I grew up with that. I remember it being in my home growing up, but I don't love it. Maybe it's time for it to go to charity. Oh, we're off to a rollicking start. Would you mind clearing out what would have been the China Pantry? Because there's got a lot of stuff in boxes. Okay. And then we can make space there for the wardrobe that I took out of the winter cell, which we then can put up in the what we've been trying And it can pantry. be a temporary China Pantry until exactly. the China I like this. I'm really happy to work in here because it's way warmer. Oh, so yeah. yes. And way less people poo. Have you noticed that the plant that Jason bought for us is still in flower? It's been incredible all year and that can go back out again in the summer. So obviously we need to keep a little bit of space in here for the plants that need to overwinter. Pavlina uses this as her flower arranging room and obviously to look after some of the seedlings. So we have to keep the space for all of that. But I think that a lot of this can go. Before the success of this YouTube channel, I had to keep everything because I never knew if I'd be able to afford to do what needed to be done at the chateau. So every bit of paint was kept in case we needed to patch in the future. But I think now I can let go of things. I know that if I need to decorate a room, I can choose the colour from scratch. I can get the paint that we need. It's time for me to let go of all of these things that were being kept for emergencies. So I'm going to clear through all of these paints and then send anything that is still usable and that we don't need to charity because someone else might need it. What's really sad is that the person who would love this clear out the most is my mother and she and Percy are leaving today. I am so sad to see them go. I hate it so much. I hated myself too, sweetheart. I'm so... I soon get so... Mm. Percy, I'm really sad you're going. Oh, well, I'm sad to make you sad. I'm just glad you'll be in the sunshine. But you promise you're back in three months' time. Promise. At the latest. Well, that's true. That's true. Okay. okay. Love you, Percy. Bye. Safe journey. Take care of yourself, darling. I will, and you I do too. Here. Take care of each other. You always okay. do. And when you come back, the heating will have started. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye, darling. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye, darling. Bye. The workbench is going. Charity shop, charity shop. Um, although that is Dan's. Better not give Dan's equipment away to the charity shop. I can go to the charity shop. What about the, the mask? That's, well, that should maybe more likely be rubbish and thrown away. Because that's... Uh... Okay, so this is our rubbish. Yeah. Okay, great. This feels good. Yeah, I'm unearthing all sorts of fun stuff. I just found these four black stemmed wine glasses and they're perfect for the tack room apartment. So I'm going to take them up there. I'm sure they're going to look really pretty in here. Yeah, they look perfect there. I love it when clearing unearthed things that are super useful around the house. Though I have to say that coming up here to put those down has unearthed a Swede. There's no one in here. Why was there a Swede in the kitchen? I'll take that back to the main kitchen. I recognise all of these things as from my parents' house. This is a little cheese dish, which is really pretty. I'll definitely keep that. Well, everything's in boxes. You can't use it anyway. I haven't seen this for ages. It's really pretty and I think it will be nice with a little plastic pot with a plant in it and maybe a mummy's apartment. That was a cheese board that we used for years when I was growing up. Oh, I don't really use it. It's not the difficulty with clearing out. You see things that you clearly don't need. I hadn't seen it in years. I didn't know that I needed it. And then the minute I look at it, it brings back so many memories of being with my parents in the kitchen that I find it hard to get rid of. But I've lived perfectly happily without it all the time it's been hidden in this box. 
I think if you really want to keep it, it's bringing back so many memories. We should put it in the bread oven room with all the other ceramics. And then when we make the kitchen and that side, the outdoor the future, kitchen, the outdoor kitchen, it could be the cheese board for that. And we can have all sorts of ceramics exactly. like that there because it doesn't go in the kitchen you can here make it at more all. More Provencal there. I actually really like that idea. So it's had a reprieve. We're keeping the keeping the cheese board a little longer. See Doesn't how it happy it was me. making me. I mean, it's a nice one. I didn't even eat cheese. Thanks. <laughs> I've managed to clear most of the rest of that box. Can go to charity. But right at the bottom was my mother's silver tea set. She's just hiding away at the bottom of this box. Unbelievable. I'm so happy to have unearthed it. All I want to do now is sit and give it a really good polish. But I can't. I've got a lot more boxes to clear. I've been allocated the job of going to the boulangerie to pick up some bread for lunch because, goodness knows, lunch is much needed with the clearing in this weather. I think we're ready for the first run to the rubbish dump. At least get rid of all of this. I realise I've never actually driven in wellies before. My feet felt massive. I could barely find the pedals. Isn't that a lovely sight? I'm always happy when I see the boulangerie all lit up. I got one normal baguette. And also two of these, the 1900, the 1900. They're called that because they're made with very traditional flour. So it's a more old fashioned type of baguette and Amory loves these. But I'm really happy because I bought yet another Galette des Rois. Amory loves them. So I thought I would get him one. But as I was buying it, they said, oh, do you want it with frangipani or with apple? Which I've never seen before. And this means that Philip can have one. So I got the one with apple as well. And goodness knows they're working so hard today. They deserve a little treat. We have bread, we have cake. I think we need some eggs. So I'm going to see if our ladies have produced any for us. Oh, hello. No, I know for a fact that you have all been fed. I can't believe it. It's like being the Pied Piper in this house when you go anywhere. Every time I come to get the eggs, I just can't get over how adorable our chickens are. Excuse me, ladies, coming through. Ah, oh, Count Dracula, have you laid an egg? Fingers crossed. Oh, yes, you precious angels. Let's try the second house as well. No, just, uh, they appear to have laid a rubber duck. Don't know why there is a rubber duck in there. I'm not going to eat the rubber duck, so two eggs it is. After all that, I'm the only one who wants eggs. Are you sure you don't want eggs? No, thank you. That's ever so kind, but I'm good. It's all right. I'm happy. There were two. I've got them for myself. I'm happy. Happy days. You ready for this, Emily? It's a big moment. The What's cheese it? is not in its normal wrapper. Boom. Oh, that is the way we now roll. Okay. <laughs> you look as though you'd rather it had been in its wrapper. <laughs> I can understand that somebody took the time to make this beautiful dish. It's very colourful. It's very pretty. And it's practical. It's recyclable. Yeah, exactly. You can keep on reusing it. Or just keep on putting the cheese in, feed it in. But then sometimes accidents happen. <laughs> oh, oh, don't you dare, don't you dare, <laughs> don't you dare. Get that away from the edge. No, it's lovely. And it's got the Capista tube. Best cheese in the world. Best. Amory and I love this cheese. And Amory's brother, Johnny, teases him about it because it's seen as a, a little bit of a just normal supermarket cheese. Yeah. Yeah. And also, Nick loves this cheese, and Marie teases him about it as well. He gets exactly the same stick from Marie. But we're sticking with our love of Capri Studio. Oh, yeah. Great cheese. I think this is giving us strength to get back out there this afternoon, carry on clearing. on that wardrobe in about 12 years. 
because this is the one that was as a bookshelf, isn't it? Yeah, it was. In the winter salon. It's going to be so good to be able to put lots of the china in here. Yeah. Brilliant. Perfect. Wonderful. Put the second screw in. Oh, wow. So then, whoa. Uh, grandfather clock. Ah. <laughs> You're okay by yourself, by the way. I am stronger than I look. It's actually a good idea to tuck it out of the way there, but you've got a long-term plan for this clock, haven't you? Yes. I like the flowers on it. And I know it's a modern interior, but it's pretty anyway. When we do Jerry's apartment, when we get the permission and stuff, and when we get to decorating, which is a while off, when we do that, I would love to turn this into a bar. So I have two little shelves, one here, yes. one here. Yeah. So we can have all the glasses there. Yeah. And then the bottles here sending up. It was a sneaky bar. It's such a good idea because then it makes something out of the fact that it doesn't have its mechanism. Exactly, exactly. And also, all the missing pieces are here, so we can just repair as though nothing ever happened. <laughs> of ours is taking everything to the dump for us and wow that filled up quickly that looks so good so you've reinforced the base yeah lifted it off so we're using the whole frame the outside frame so there's there's no sag so we'll just put a little prop um underneath each shelf so there won't be any sag okay perfect so they can't fall after that they can't fall after that yeah great we can load them up <laughs> <laughs> We're thinking of having these two uh, for um, plates, yep. and, and we'll build the support. That's why we built mm -hmm. this, so that mm -hmm. none of it can, can sag and collapse. And then up here, we can maybe have boxes, or we can have some vases or something. So that's where they are taller. That is perfect. So we get a really big vase. It's absolutely perfect. And it's all thanks to uh, thanks to Amory because he did everything. Yeah, it's and incredible. You put a top on. See? Yeah, we've got a top as well. This is glorious. Jeez. Wardrobe number two. Do you want to spin around this thing? Yeah. So now we can put all of the coats away neatly. I mean, they don't match, do they, the wardrobes? Whichever way we look at it, it's like little and large in here. That's great. Yeah, imagine all the coats. I know. I take up so much space upstairs. <laughs> also, you can't get... I can't reach them. They're too high up. There's going to be great there. There's one broken leg. I'm going to leave you two doing this because Dan's coming in an hour for right. dinner and... Oh, awesome. Yeah. So, see you in a sec. Bye. Bye. It is so weird how clearing just lightens the soul. It somehow brings in space in the mind for creativity. I don't understand how it works. It feels like witchcraft, but I feel lighter because of today. Now I'm going to quickly get changed because Dan's coming around for dinner and it'll be just the four of us. It's just so weird being so few people here. Hi. <laughs> oh yeah, Dan's editing in here. It'll be a bit longer till dinner. I've only just started peeling the That's potatoes. Okay. You're going to have a quick have a look. Definitely. So the second wardrobe is up. Okay, I'm coming. It's not quite finished yet. What's happened? So, Henry, I think mean, Henry is so amazing. I know, he's incredible. This door was completely messed up. It yeah. wouldn't close properly. So it's, it's, it's a little bit like this now. Yes. But you couldn't get it to close. Whoa. And uh, he added a bit of wood here and it closed now. The only thing he's gonna do is shake this uh, off a little bit mm -hmm. because this door, over the years, I think this is from the 30s, I think. Yeah, it's very old. We've had it for so long. So it doesn't actually close in all the right areas. We'll shave it off, so actually. It closes as well. And you, I saw him shaving this one off earlier, which is why that one now closes. Perfect. So now you just got the sofa to move in. Yes. So what I'm thinking is having the sofa here, which is great. Yeah. Near a plug. So if anyone, if anyone wants to hang out and edit the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but like if you're in your phone. You no, it's true. You want a quiet space. Exactly. So sofa. I'm not sure how big it is. Maybe we have to move the plant. Okay. And then we have the sofa and I think a little table. Actually, maybe we, because that is um, a socket, maybe we should put a little kettle in here. 
That's actually a brilliant idea. Gardener's tea room. Finally! A little armchair. It's a tiny little rattan table out here that's a bit broken, which will be fine for this room. I know you don't love it. Oh, maybe. And then we could put the rattan one in front as a little coffee table. My goodness, when you think what this looked like this morning. I know. Love it. Really love it. I'd like your opinion on the what's it Ooh, oh, one of Daddy's paintings as well. Well, this one was just being stored temporarily. Yeah. And I was thinking, if we don't hang it up, at least we can rest on the wardrobe there. Yep, great idea just to get it off the ground. And then there's these two. We need to get out of the staples as well. Oh, I love the idea of having mirrors in here. Have you changed? Yeah, change for dinner, of course. What kind of establishment do you think this is? Very stove-like. Yeah, it is, isn't it? A kitchen camo. We're gonna have roast potatoes. So I've got the oil super hot and I'm adding potatoes that I've already parboiled because it'll make them fluffier on the inside. Just making sure that they all get coated in the boiling hot olive oil. And with those, we're going to have leeks and shallots and steak. The table's ready. I'm using my new cabbage plates. I think I can go and see if the guys are ready. I see, I see one. How are they I'm doing down there? Call of dinner. Oh, you did? You let them know? Okay, I'm going to go and check anyway and see what's happening. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. It's like a little garden room now. Yes. Okay, tomorrow morning, I'll give those mirrors a good clean. And I like to put a tea. Oh. So let's put a kettle here and then we can put the little... Tea set. Gorgeous. Okay, but come through for dinner. Yes. We'll carry on in the morning. You've done so much. Well, I'm ready. has been most now. And he has not stopped. I know. Did you just say the roast potatoes aren't like your mother's? Yeah. Oh. Well, try oh. them and then let me know. I don't want Is to it because they're bigger? <laughs> I don't want to try them. Right. Okay, more roast potatoes <laughs> for the rest of us. Move those away from more, my cousin. More steak for me. Yeah, we've got, <laughs> we've got more steak. So if you finish that, we've got loads more. We've got some pork because it needed finishing. So we've got a multi-meat no, meal, bizarrely. Uh, the potatoes are delicious. Thanks I hope it tastes good because I had to give up a microwave lasagna for them. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, do you want to come for dinner? Hmm. <laughs> what are my options? <laughs> Dan, this is the red that we got, oh, over a year ago in Bordeaux. I'm sure you watched my vlog avidly. Yes, I remember that the, one. Oh, yeah, yeah, you episode, know that one. Uh, La Lande de Pomerol. Wasn't sent to Mignon. Yeah, no, Dan remembers it well. <laughs> so how's everything going with the chateau, Dan? Good. Not much progress at the moment. Yeah, well. Only just because it's been Christmas and stuff. Yeah. Going back to daily vlogs. You are not. Yeah. Daily vlogs. Yeah. I'm recovering from Advent. Yeah. You are a brave man. Yeah. I don't know. I think I need it. It really did add something to... It adds a lot of structure. Yeah. yeah. It does. It does. Yeah. I mean, I've got a kick out of it. So I'm missing that. So I'm going to try it. And you have to goes. see the joy in life every day because you're sharing it. That's it. it yeah. It's really good. It's like, oh, I didn't do much today. And then you watch it back and edit yeah. it in the fun way and think, oh, actually, yeah, it was, it was a great day. day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, so I think it'll help. This is what I needed after a day in the cold, sorting through things. I chose my moment, didn't I? I really chose my moment. I think it's more because I just want to find the fair. You're determined to be the king for the day. Yeah. Mm. And you've already finished yours. Yes. How was it? It's like uh, eating cake with applesauce. Nice. Okay, I don't know if you're selling it to everyone, but as <laughs> they don't know how much you love applesauce. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, the moment you've been waiting for for how long? <laughs> and there's nothing sexy than seeing you pull an Eiffel Tower out of your mouth for the food. I think you've already put the crown on. <laughs> I'm going to keep that for oh, France. Good day. Cheers, Cheers all. 
I've woken up pretty excited to move all of the coats into the new boot room because it's going to clear a huge amount of space in my dressing room. And I haven't been using all of my coats because they're really hard for me to get hold of. They are all the way up there. And it's such a hassle to bring them down because although the system is a very good one, there's this little pulley thing, it's really heavy because there's too many coats on it. But struggling with them is going to be a thing of the past. Oh, look at you. You're way down. Thank you. You're being heroic. <laughs> We've just remembered that we haven't cleaned inside the cupboard. And because it was open, I think there's even a little bit of bird poo in there. So we'll just put the coats down in the kitchen. I'm going to go and clean. Uh, bird poo removal services. And then it will be good as new. Well, good as 100 year old 1930s wardrobe exactly <laughs> with a fixed leg that leg was broken for years and we just transformed things so quickly how did we live without him the interior is clean so i'm going to go over the outside with beeswax it smells so good i mean you can't see much of a difference but the smell in the room the wardrobe is looking so much better really did get everywhere we need to make sure that there's glass in the windows i've really spoken to emory about this room. yeah but then we need to put up little nesting boxes so yes that when they come back they can still nest that'd be lovely it's clean but it's still stained so exactly we'll have to get a special marble cleaner you're signed to bring through the china yes and um, there's some things that will go in here it might be nice to have some of the smaller sets here. The ones that just we use here and the B&B ones near well, the dining room. We use the B&B as well, but there's only 10 of these. Oh yeah, so when we've got smaller numbers. Okay. Exactly. It's nice to see that getting filled. <laughs> and have you seen this? Oh, I am excited. It's still missing my cuts. Oh, strange, because there's not much space left. Mm. There's loads of space. I don't know what you're complaining about. There's loads of space in that wardrobe. That's going to be fine. I found the marble cleaner. So let's see if that improves this at all. We have to put it on and leave it to react for a bit. Although it's frothing, I'm going to be honest, I can't really see any change in the marble. Well, it's definitely squeaky clean, but maybe it is just not the world's nicest colour of marble. Certainly it's not the world's nicest table, but for now it gives us a space to put a cup of tea down there. We've finished arranging it and, I mean, considering the fact that we are not attempting to decorate this room, we're just attempting to clear all of the rooms downstairs it looks really pretty. We've kept all of Pavlina's little plants and seedlings in here that she's working on and this will continue to be Pavlina's room for flower arranging and for working with the flowers but I think she will find it a lot more comfortable now and as it is going to be used by Pavlina and probably Kirsty will visit and Ombeline We've put some gardening books in here. The most beautiful gardens in the world that should give inspiration then a lovely book on kitchen garden in England. Vintage roses. And then this one I think Pavlina will especially like. The flower recipe. It's ways of making flower arrangements and she loves doing the flower arrangements. And I think that's really her style as well. So I think she's going to love it. Then we've got the kettle in here and a little tea station. Incredibly pretty teapot. And you've started moving everything in here. And it's nice because we're not too far from the kitchen here. So it's going to be much easier than storing things up in the attic until we get the china pan ready. It's hard to imagine what it was like just yesterday, filled with all the shelves. This looks so much better. I know. I can breathe. That's what's so lovely. It looks quite English, actually. It does. It looks very English, but that's because it's a lot of the old English furniture we were storing. Mm. I'm very happy. I'm looking forward to having this room done properly as a beautiful boot room with a stunning flooring. Yeah, that's coming in here. 
Well, we're going to christen the room by popping the kettle on, having a cup of tea here on the sofa. And next week we will be attacking the stables. It's becoming a January tradition. It is a January tradition. Our spring clean though, it's really a winter clean at Lalande. It's always <laughs> at January, February, where we suddenly want to attack everything. Expect a lot more clearing in the weeks to come. Thank you all for joining us for Lalande's annual spring clean. Today, I would like to say a special thank you to our patrons, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Karen and Mike Hopper, Sandra Hawley, John Hostetler, Trez Hughes, and Melissa Jansen. Thank you so much for supporting the Chateau Diaries. It's because of all our patrons that we're in a frenzy of clearing because we're able to put in the new heating system. And lots of love to all of you who are watching. Can't wait to see you next week on the Chateau Diaries.